everybody, it's Lon Sybin, and we're doing a second chance review of the Flux Mob Bolt. And what this is, is a little AC adapter for your wall outlet that will charge your Android smartphone or iPhone. It's got a one amp power connector at the bottom, USB voltage. And uh, what's neat about it, though, is that although it's about the size of many little chargers that you would get with your device, it also has a battery built in as well, a 3000 milliamp hour battery that's probably good for you know, maybe a charge and a half to two charges, depending on the device. Now, it's not good for tablets because, again, it only outputs an amp, uh, but it can certainly uh, do well with a phone. And I really liked its portability and overall uh, industrial design. Now, uh, the one I had before was the Kickstarter edition. And the reason why we're doing a second chance review today is that the original Kickstarter edition had a problem, at least my particular one did, and a few, they said a limited number of uh, their Kickstarter editions had this problem with some uh, faulty components that uh, did some very bad things. And that bad thing was blowing up my Raspberry Pi. It was actually pretty scary when it happens. There were some sparks, my finger got a little singed, uh, and it was pretty bad. Now, the folks at FluxMob were very good about responding to this. They sent me uh, some money to replace the uh, Raspberry Pi, and of course, they took uh, the, the broken Flux Mob back and gave me a refund. But they reached out to me a few weeks ago and said, hey, we've got a new version of the Bolt, and now it is UL certified. I don't know if you can see it on here, but uh, they've got uh, UL certification now. And uh, this is something you want to look for whenever you're buying a product like this, especially a charger uh, that involves some kind of battery that you, know, you want to make sure is not going to catch fire or blow up your Raspberry Pi. And uh, going through that certification means that they have a third party, a very experienced third party, uh, review the product, put it through its paces, and make sure that it is really safe to buy. And uh, they do some like you know regular audits and other things of the product as well. And I think um, if you hit that mark of UL certification, that will certainly uh, give you some confidence. You can also look up on the UL page whether or not a product truly is certified. A lot of times people put the UL uh, stamp on their product when it wasn't actually certified by those labs. So uh, if you're doing your research, especially on battery cases and stuff, I would definitely check that out. So we are going to see though what happens. Now that we repeat the test with this new UL certified Flux Mob Bolt, I have a, uh, the same version of the Raspberry Pi that exploded before, and we're going to plug it into the Bolt right now and see what happens. And uh, the good news is that nothing happened, at least as far as sparks and explosions are concerned, so that's a good sign that this product is not going to repeat what happened before. Uh, when I had the issue before it happened, the minute I plugged it in, and the fact that we're getting uh, our Raspberry Pi booting here is a very good sign. Now, what's cool about this is that because it's got a battery on board, this becomes like a little UPS. Um, so as you can see, we haven't lost power to our Raspberry Pi, even though we have unplugged it. And it's basically supplying uh, that USB voltage that the Pi needs to operate, and we are uh, still running with it. So you could probably you know, use this as kind of an external battery pack for your Raspberry Pi to use it when you don't have a wall outlet around as well. So that's a pretty uh, cool usage. I'm not exactly sure how much time we'll get on here, but I imagine it would be uh, pretty usable because it's not drawing all that much power and you could probably keep it out in the field for at least an hour or two at least. I'm not sure. Maybe somebody can do the math on this for me and let me know. So, uh, so that's it. The Flux Mob Bolt, I think they've improved it. Uh, the UL certification gives me a lot of confidence that uh, this is not going to fail like their Kickstarter version did. Uh, and not many products have this. I've been getting sent um, a lot of these, these battery packs to review, and I've been sending them back uh, if they don't have the UL certification now because I just don't feel comfortable uh, recommending something that hasn't gone through that certification. Uh, the folks at FluxMob have definitely made some improvements here, and I will uh, once again recommend it because it is a really nicely designed product. This is Lon Seibin. Thanks for watching.